So I just went and spent one day in Paris on Saturday. I didn't vlog any of this because I was there with a family member that we really don't see often. So like I didn't want to ruin it by constantly being like filming everything we also like only spent one day so a grand total of about six hours so we didn't actually have time to do much so i live in france i live about like three and a half hour train journey away from paris so if you want to go there we just like hop on the train and get spend a day there it's pretty cool so i thought i'd just talk a bit about what i did there and what it's like because it is so different like i live in the absolute middle of nowhere you know like when they say nowheresville normandy well i actually live in normandy and there is just nothing around here except cows and the occasional horse two of which are mine so when we arrived there the first thing that i wanted to do which is one thing that i always absolutely always do whenever i go to paris first thing on the list is go to the official Disney store. Because what can I say? I am an unforgivable Disney nerd. But I found out on Friday, so the day before, I was like Googling the store to see how, like, what station we had to go to, what metro station, and like how long we get to, to be there. And I found out that they were actually closing. And apparently this like Paris Disney store is one of the last, if not the last that actually exists anywhere in the world. Cause apparently all the stores in the US have closed and now the Paris Disney store is closing as well, which made me really sad. Cause like I said, that was one of my like favorite stops whenever I went to Paris. And in the articles it said that they were closing because they wanted to encourage more people to like buy online, which is what I normally do. Cause obviously like I can't run down to Paris every time I want something from the Disney store. So I do tend to order online. But one of the reasons I really loved going to the Disney store was because they had so much more stuff than there was on like the website and you could see everything like just the experience of being in a store surrounded by Disney stuff was something that was really special to me but yeah this was the last time I'm ever gonna get to go there so I was quite pleased that I like found out just before the store sh closes it closed at the end of May and uh, yeah it was a bit bit sad really but yeah i had a chat with the girl uh at the till on the way out and she, I, like, I was asking him you know did they like plan to have you retrain and stuff and get you jobs afterwards and they did like apparently they uh, offered them training to like retrain in something else to get like better jobs or other jobs afterwards and she told me that like it was okay she's got another job afterwards so i guess that was nice i mean it's like kind of the minimum that you would expect from an employer when they're shutting down their store or their business or whatever but they don't all do that uh and apparently disney company did that without being asked like the employees didn't ask for this they just like offered it anyway another reason they gave was like apparently covid hit them really hard and like there was the gilet jaune protest going on which wasn't cool for anyone so yeah like those, those were like several reasons that gave but apparently just like physical disney stores aren't gonna be a thing anymore so if i want to actually like indulge in the disney experience i'm gonna have to go to disneyland paris so yeah i would like to go back to disneyland paris it's been a while oh yeah the other thing that i really enjoy about the actual physical disney store is you can try stuff on because i have ordered stuff in the past uh, like on the websites and they like normally i'm a medium right i'm a medium i'm quite small but like quite big around the chest so i require a medium and i bought this sweater um, and I can't remember if I bought like a medium or a large because like when I buy hoodies usually I'll buy like a size up because then I can like wear stuff underneath them and you know have a nice squishy hoodie to just like throw over something but this hoodie arrived and it was like so <laughs> oversized like it's like just wearing a flipping parachute and 
like, I know I can always like send it back and get it swapped, but I was like, oh, do I really want to bother with that? I have a, usually have a very bad experience of my customer service when it comes to ordering stuff online. So I usually don't like send them back or like if I do send an email of inquiry or they'll just be like, they'll just ignore me. So yeah, I, I kept this ridiculously oversized hoodie. Uh, I do wear it, but like maybe I should try and like, I don't know, make it smaller. I'll see, I'll see if I can kind of do some kind of sewing and make it smaller because it is so big. Yeah, the material's also really thin. Like I think had I found this in the store, I probably would have bought it, but yeah, if it, at least I would have kind of had a better idea of what it was. So I, I don't know, I like physical shopping as well as online shopping. So yeah, so I did buy some stuff. Um, I bought this, Hocus Pocus hoodie, and I actually got to to try it on. This is so cute. I really love it. Um, apparently, I really look like Bette Midler as well. Like, so a couple of people have said that to me. I used to have red hair uh, when I was a teenager, and uh, Bette Midler was really popular back then. And <laughs> a couple of people were like, "Oh, you really look like Bette Midler." Sure. So I guess but Bette Midler's my like celebrity look alike. But yeah, I really like Hocus Pocus because. Um, of course I do. And I love this sweater. I love the colours, like the green and purple. And it's so thick and squishy. And I gotta try it on. <laughs> this is an extra small. Which is insane to me. Like, when I say like the medium is so big. This isn't a U... <laughs> yeah, it's all EU, UK, France, extra small. Um... Yeah, so I mean, yeah, I gotta try it on in the store. <laughs> That's crazy to me. Uh, the only item I of clothing that I own in extra small or Disney extra small, extra small. That that's not easy to say. Disney extra small, uh, which is actually normal medium, I guess. I don't know if these are like U.S. sizes or what it is. Why they're so oversized, but yeah, that's kind of that's kind of weird. But I I'm really pleased with that. It's super squishy super warm it's basically what i was hoping for the the other oversized hoodie that i ordered uh i got it in this one so that was fun marvel hulk mark <laughs> i had to get this i had to get this i love it i was this is gonna be my mug now whenever i do a rant video i'm just gonna be like <laughs> i love it a huge hulk fan they had this big, uh, like, Jack Skellington plush toy with, like, the pumpkin heads, but it cost, like, 40 euros, and I was like, I'm not gonna spend 40 euros on that. I really want it, but it's not gonna be for today, so I got, like, the mini Sally plush toy instead. It was so cute. I love this. It is adorable. So this now belongs on my shelf with all the rest of my stuff. I really need to sort this stuff out, because there's a lot now i need to sort this mess out here as well like i keep trying to organize things and i just end up making way more mess than i had originally so yeah we went to have dinner after that in this like absolutely superb steakhouse and that came very highly recommended by the family member that we come to see in question and it was lovely like that's one of the things that I really also really enjoy when I go to Paris is like having food that we just don't get around here. Like we don't really have steakhouses or international food. It's all very McDonald's, Burger King and the occasional local restaurant which serves, I don't know, steak and runner beans or something. Like there's really like nothing that exciting when it comes to food. You really have to go to the big cities. So going to Paris, like last time we were there, we went to eat in a Indian restaurant. And it's not, it was not like the Indian curry houses like in the UK, like it's an actual full blown Indian restaurant with like huge servings. Like, they, like you would actually eat, like you have a big, you know, big serving and then everybody just like picks and, and takes from it. Uh, one of those and that didn't really go down well with because like I really like spicy food But I'm the only member of the family who does so like, I was like, yeah, let's not go and eat uh, In the spicy food restaurant again. So we went to the steakhouse that was just down the road um, And it's uh, called the hippopotamus and it was honestly I had the best burger there I have ever had ever 
And it's kind of funny because, like, my boyfriend, <laughs> whenever we go to a restaurant, right, and I've always done this, whenever we go to a restaurant, I will just, like, meticulously look through the menu and decide what, in at least my opinion, off the bat, the nicest thing is. And I usually get it right. And uh, then I will, like, select the, the best thing and I will only ever order that. So, like, I go to any restaurant I go to, I will always order, like, the same thing, which is, like, my personal select favourite on the menu. And my, my boyfriend will, like, try a bunch of different stuff. But he always, like, he would always, like, look at my plate and be like, that looks really good, like, what you've got there. So now... <laughs> Instead of like trying out different things, he would just wait for me to order and trust that that is going to be the nicest thing. And as I say, I usually get it right. And so I kind of, again, was going through the menu, going through the menu, going <laughs> through the menu. And I was looking at this burger and I was like, that's at least what it says on the menu. That sounds absolutely delicious. And so I ordered that. So he ordered that and everybody ended up ordering the same thing and it was gorgeous it's now destroyed every other burger that i know i can have in the area <laughs> like i will never have i will never enjoy a burger again <laughs> like it's destroyed all of them mcdonald's is dead uh the restaurant down the road is dead every, every burger is dead to me apart from the hippopotamus chicken barbecue sauce burger it also wasn't that dear as well, like, when the whole, like, bill came through and, because, like, i gone a bit crazy, I had a cocktail that also destroyed every other cocktail I've ever had, I really need to learn how to make this cocktail because it was amazing, and, like, we, like, we didn't overdo it, but we still, like, had a decent, decent meal and it didn't actually come to that much, we were, like, expecting to pay way more for it, so very decently priced, brilliant, brilliant food, hippopotamus restaurant, if you get a chance to go there, like, I strongly recommend it. Unless you're vegan, then probably don't. But I, I don't know. Maybe I'll look for a vegan restaurant next time. I don't know. And then we went out to do some shopping. And because, like, obviously when you're in Paris, it's like you, you kind of, like, you have all the big brands, big name uh, shops. But I, I don't really like, I mean, I don't do fast fashion. I really don't like fast fashion. And I will try and go to little shops, like little independent stores. And I found this little independent store. It's right opposite the uh, Montparnasse uh, train station. It, I think it's called Melorang. And they had so, like, all this awesome stuff. And because we, like, walked past there on the way to the restaurant. And I was like, I've got to come back and look at this shop. Because it looks so cute. And they had all these, like, stuff in, in the store that looked really cool. So I ended up going back there and I got the most amazing stuff. Uh, <laughs> I'm so happy. I got this sweater and hold on, I need to push this back a bit so that you can see this cute blue. This is the squishiest sweater I have ever owned. It's really warm. It's really squishy. It's also really light and I love it and I'm so pleased with it and it like, the, and they had, like, a whole hanger outside with, like, they had these, but, like, in all different colours. And I spent so long trying to figure out. I had purple ones, they had teal ones, they had, like, turquoise ones. And, the like, the one that I, I kind of, this was, like, the first one I saw, the first one I looked at. So I was like, I'm gonna buy this one. They also had, okay, I am obsessed with this. Look at that. If I can get it. <laughs> actually get it out look at that Van Gogh Starry Night on what is the softest scarf and I can't believe I only paid 10 euros for this like the the print is so beautiful look at that and it's so soft and again, warm, and I just want to wrap myself in it and spend my life living in this thing because it is so, it's so beautiful. And they had so many of these, all these paintings on scarves, on coat hangers, and I was just going through them all and looking at what they had. And then she said, oh, we've got some more like in their wrappers. 
um, that we haven't put on coat hangers yet. So I was going through this massive, great big pile of scarves. And I was like, do you have any paintings by Salvatore Rosa? Do you have any paintings by Goya? And she was like, I don't know. I don't know all the artists. And she was asking me, like, she was getting out all the paint, all some of the, the scarves that, like, she didn't know who the artists were. And she was like, do you know who this is? Do you know who this is? Because she didn't know, who it didn't say on it who they were. And again, it was super hard. To, I, I was like, I'm going to buy two. I'm going to buy two of these. And it was super, super hard to decide which two. So this one, this one's a must have. And again, it goes with my sweater, which is super cute. So another excuse to buy this gorgeous, rich blue and the other one i got this is the second one i bought which again the print is so fabulous look at that <laughs> look how gorgeous the print is this is a frida carlo um print and it was kind of i always feel a bit weird like whenever i see stuff with frida carlo's face on it or with her paintings because she's become like a like a kind of feminist icon recently she's become really popular and which is great because i've always been a fan of frida carlo i um, love her art love her paintings love her everything she, she was such an icon she's a mexican artist but the thing is she was anti-capitalism so I don't know how she would feel about having her face sold on, I mean, maybe not this one so much, but like, especially like fast fashion t-shirts. Um, I don't know how she would feel about that. I guess she, I, I guess she might be happy because obviously when you're an artist, you want to get your work out there and you want people to like, uh, know you and know who you are and know what you do, but also to be like anti-capitalism, which means anti-fast fashion. So as I said, this this is not like this didn't come from a fast fashion store. Also, the material like this is one hundred percent not cheap. Like it's super good quality. The print is beautiful. I'm gonna have this forever. Like I am definitely gonna have this forever. I am going to cherish and love it. Um, and as I said, wrap myself in it and just live in it. Let's bring the camera back over here for a, a bit. Oh, don't fall over. And the last thing I bought is a beret, which I'm a, I've wanted a beret for ages. And what better place to find one than in Paris? And it's already plushing. <laughs> this thing, forty-eight hours, and it's already coming off. Uh, all the all, <laughs> all the plush is already coming off. It's all. Ugh. But yeah, I am super pleased with this. I love it. And now I just want to. And again, like she had all different colors. And I was again going through like which color am I going to take? I really like this kind of dark. It's sort of dark blue, but it's kind of like verging on blue and purple. So it's, I think it's something that can kind of be styled with a bunch of different stuff because I like everything to be color coded. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to wear this forever now. And I now want to buy a bunch more in like different colors. <laughs> I'm going to become a beret aficionado oh oh yes the other thing is this she gave me this um little pendant thing i guess and because when i went I, I kind of finally decided this is all the stuff i'm gonna have put it on the counter and i was like okay that's it i'm done <laughs> i've got my scarves i've got my um my squishy sweater and i've got my beret and nah that's it i'm not buying anything else and she was like oh hold on a second and she went running off into the back shop and came back with this and she said we offer these with everyone who buys one of these sweaters which is the sweetest thing and when i saw it i was like oh that's lovely but i'm probably not gonna wear it because it's like it's the orange tassels for me um i because like i say i like everything to be color coded i don't have I don't have anything in orange. I don't wear orange. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to style this, but it is super beautiful. Like I do really like it. And again, it's not just it's not just some piece of tat. It's actually made of metal. Yeah, it's not like just plastic junk. I love it. And yeah, so I thought I wouldn't wear it, but I'm wearing it today and I actually think it looks really cute. So, I guess I guess I will wear it. <laughs> I will it's just so cute. It's just so cute to like give little gift with 
Oh, every, like, thank you for being a customer. We're gonna, we're gonna do some really cute and squishy things for you. When my boyfriend saw me wearing these clothes the first time, he was like, that is the most Paris thing ever. I am now a Parisienne fashion icon. Gaze upon me and tremble. So I asked her a bit about her store, like, if because it was it was a pretty tiny store and I thought maybe it's a pop-up store so I asked her about it I was like how you know are you a pop-up store have you been here like long or are you here like on a regular basis and they've been there for five years and so they're they're gonna kind of be, so I guess they've kind of replaced the Disney store to me that's gonna be my go-to store now uh in Paris and I really need to find more I would love to go back to Paris more often because First of all, I have never been on a book hunt in Paris, never, because like obviously there's there's probably a bunch of like secondhand bookstores, but I've never ever had time like to be on my own to go and do that. So maybe one day if I can uh, take a day and do a secondhand bookstore marathon and see see how that goes, that would be something that I'd love to do and just chill because like Paris is so cool it's always such an experience to go there like just walking around in the street it's such a different place like the scenery and the people like everything is so different like everybody wears different clothes like that's the thing that always like strikes me the most or well, the first thing at least that strikes me is everybody is dressed differently like here everybody's dressed the same they're like all wearing the same stuff that comes from because like we again we don't have a big choice of stores so like they will just go to the local fast fashion store and buy all their stuff there so everybody has the same clothes but like you go to Paris there was this lady entirely dressed in Yves Saint Laurent and all these like white and eggshell uh, shades and she looked amazing there was this guy like even the guys who wear track suits and trainers are styled like even they look cool and there was like all different kinds of alternative styles but the, again they were all different like here it's like there's one alternative style and again they all look the same because <laughs> they all buy their stuff from the one alternative store that tries to scratch a living uh in the area once in a while and it's there for like six months <laughs> before it closes but like everybody has their own specific style and you can kind of tell in the morning that they get up and they think about what they're going to wear and what they're going to put together and they all look amazing and it's brilliant. And there's, there, and there's different cultures with like cultural clothes some of them wear which is super cool as well. Because the, the Disney store is on the uh, Avenue de Champs-Élysées so we got to see... Uh, we went down the Champs Elysees and we saw the obelisk and the Arc de Triomphe, which is really cool. And I don't know, just the ambiance of like everybody's happy to be in Paris, and just there were like people running and tourists and local people going to work and talking about their days. And I don't know, to me, it's just such an experience, and I I really love it. So yeah, I definitely should go back there. I want to go back to Disneyland because. Disneyland <laughs> I really like Disneyland I also want to go uh just spend a day in Paris have a bookstore marathon definitely some stuff I need to plan for the future but from that for now I have my beret I have my squishy top I have my lovely scarves my beautiful pendant that was a gift from the store owner I love it so much rest in peace Disney store you will be absolutely sorely missed by me and of course the burger to ruin all burgers and the cocktail to ruin all cocktails. And I guess I'm gonna end it here. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this was. I'm just kind of me talking, vlogging, not quite sure. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back to do some more videos. I have a whole pile of books here, the videos I need to do. Don't forget to love, share, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you think in the comments. Do you like going to Paris? Have you ever been to Paris? Do you like going there? What's your favourite store? What's your favourite place to go? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Mwah.